Robert Mugabe's lavish retirement package includes first-class flights, a five-bedroom house and 23 staffs. Former Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe will be entitled to a five-bedroom house with guest wing and swimming pool and up to 23 staff in an extraordinary pension settlement. The 93-year-old, who was forced to resign his position as Africa's oldest leader last month following a military coup, has been awarded full diplomatic status by his successor Emerson Nangagwe. Mr. Mugabe, his wife Grace, 52, and their three children will also be entitled to 23 staff including two drivers, two private secretaries, two gardeners, cooks and housekeepers and an additional six strong security detail, according to the pension settlement which has been chronicled in the official government gazette. He has been living with his family at his private home in the plush Borodale suburb, and the pension entitles him to payment of a lump sum which is equal or equivalent to the value of the private residence. If he chooses to build a new home, the property should not exceed a reasonably sized house with five bedrooms, a guest wing with three bedrooms, a study, swimming pool, two guard rooms, and two garages, according to the Gazette. His wife and children must be provided with suitable state accommodation after Mr. Mugabe dies. The Mugabes will also receive diplomatic passports, private air and rail travel for four international trips a year and medical care. He is also entitled to a Mercedes-Benz S500 series or an equivalent class of motor vehicle, a four-wheel drive and a pickup van. In a statement in the Gazette, Mr. Nangagwe said ex-presidents who have served at least one full term, a category that includes only Mr. Mugabe, were also entitled to six security personnel and a fully furnished office. It will include a landline telephone, mobile phone, two computers, and other equipment to be determined by the new president. He will be able to increase the number of security staff with permission from the government. The extraordinary details of his pension settlement were published in the Government Gazette as the army chief who led the bloodless coup that ended Mr. Mugabe's 37-year rule was installed as Zimbabwe's vice president on Thursday, becoming the most senior of a clutch of military figures to enter government. Retired General Constantino Chiwenga's appearance on state television on November 15 preceded armed soldiers taking to the streets, paving the way for Emerson Nangagwe to become president hours later. Mr. Nangagwe, a former chief lieutenant to Mr. Mugabe who has promised to push through economic and political reforms, has steered clear of acts of retribution against the former president, handing him full diplomatic status and the pension settlement. The president's governing ZANU-PF party this month moved to draw a line under the era of Mr. Mugabe, who during his decades in power became feared as a dictator and presided over economic collapse by formally expelling the ex-president's wife Grace and her allies from the organization. Mr. Nangagwe himself stands accused of participating in repression and is under pressure from would-be foreign investors, opposition parties and ordinary Zimbabweans to implement reforms. But he is also looking to maintain a unified ZANU-PF as the dominant political force and keep relations with its powerful military smooth in the run-up to national elections scheduled for next year. Mr. Mugabe, who built a reputation for extensive international travel during his rule, will also be provided with a diplomatic passport. Two weeks ago, in first trip outside Zimbabwe since he was removed from office, he visited a hospital in Singapore, apparently for medical checks.